Hello guys and welcome to Plus Equal. In this short tutorial, I will teach you how to create a follow camera with a simple script. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new script for the follow camera. So C sharp script, follow camera. And I will attach this into our main camera. So our main camera have the script, that's good. And if I press play to see how the camera is now, the camera is static and I can see my player if I go to up or to down in the scene. So I need my camera to follow this object that I'm calling the player. In the last tutorial I'll, I showed you how to work with Cinemachine to create a follow camera but I thought that was good to you to know how to create a simple script that will do more or less the same thing. So let's open the script and before we type some code first we need to understand what it means to follow the camera, what is the desired behavior so that way we can map uh, what we need to do in order for our camera to follow the player. So the first thing that I would like to do is to make sure that I know what kind of camera I want. At this moment I have my camera just like this and actually it's not bad. It looks like the object is centered, my camera is looking down at the object much like a top-down view game. This way I could also put this to 0 and 0, 0 and you can see that we have a problem. My camera now is on the center of the world as well. So I need to push this up. I will put this maybe into 8 and here I'll maybe put a minus 5. Okay, actually it looks pretty good because I like round numbers. I'll put this into 0 5 and 60 so I'm happy with the result I want this camera to be my follow camera so here in the scene view if I press play what needs to happen is that if I move the player forward my camera also needs to go a little forward if I go to the right with my player my camera also needs to go a little to the right. So basically we are saying that the camera will mimic the player movement. So how can we achieve this? One of the most common ways is to create an offset. The offset will be the difference between the transform of the player and the transform of the camera. So let's start in our script to create a variable to reference our player. Let's create a serialized field of the type transform and let's call it player. Now we can go into unity again and right here we'll have a player and we need to attach a transform. So I'll grab mine here and put it right there. So that way our camera knows what we are talking about. What object is a player. And now we need to calculate the offset. So we need to know what is the difference between this position and this position right here. So let's go here. And let's create a private variable of type vector3 to our offset. And here at the start, let's say that the offset will be equal to the player.transform.position minus our own transform.position. That means the camera one, because, because this script is attached to the camera, this transform.position means that is the game object of the camera. And let's display this in the debug.log. We'll display the offset. Just like that. Let's go back into Unity again. Let's press play. And let me go into the console. And here we have it. We have here a, a debug.log. Ignore this one. It's from another script. We have here that the offset is 0, minus 7.5 and 5. And you can see that this is correct by going into the object and seeing that the player is in the position 0 0.50 and our camera is, is also in 0. So the difference on X is none. But then the player have dot 0.5 and the main camera have 8. So minus 7.5 is the difference. And here we have again 5 uh, while the player have 0. This one have minus 5, so that make 5 on x, 
that the camera have to go in order to catch with the player. So the offset seems correct. Now we just need to update the camera every frame in order for the camera to follow the player position. We have almost everything at the code by now. And here on the update, we can say that the transform of the camera, more precisely the position of the camera, will be equal to the player position, right? Player transform dot position minus the offset. So let's save and try this out. Let's press play. And here, if I try my game, let's see if this is working. I'll move up. I'll move back, right and left and my camera is following my object. This is pretty cool, right? Here in the scene view, you can also see the camera following our player. So we know that this is working very well, just as we expected. So I hope you guys learned something new with this tutorial. This is one of the most simple ways to create a follow camera. You can go and mess up with the values, try things for yourself as well. But yeah, that's it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and put it to good use. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you a lot for watching and remember to leave a like and subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet. So I'll see you next time. Thank you a lot for watching. I'll see you there.